Four of Swords, Four of Coins Reversed, the Hermit, that's your energy. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, you have the Moon at the bottom of the deck, so that's Cancer, Pisces energy. And then you have the Hermit, which is your energy. So, either you or your significant other is not happy in the relationship and it's if you're the one that's not happy you're about to tell this person or if your significant other isn't happy they're about to tell you and I feel like there is going to be a breakup some of you might have to move or this other person is moving out of your house um, but there's definitely a break coming I don't know if it's a permanent breakup or a temporary one, but somebody's not happy. They're feeling a little emotionally unfulfilled. They don't want to move on. They don't want to have victory in this relationship. They just want to work on their money right now, it looks like. So let's see. Let's get some clarifiers. Moon at the bottom of the deck on this one, too. Tell me about the chariot reverse. Why is the chariot here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Tell me about the chariot reverse. Five of Swords. So I feel like this is a mutual breakup. You're both feeling like this isn't really going anywhere, and you're both walking away. Cutting your losses and walking away. Tell me about the Ten of Coins for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two of Wands and the King of Swords. So, you just, I feel like you both just want something else in life. You're feeling <coughs> unfulfilled emotionally. Um, you probably are feeling unfulfilled with your career and want to set out on new adventures. Tell me about the Two of Coins for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify the Two of Coins with the Moon. Um, this person, whoever's walking away, probably was... I don't feel like there's third party here. But they're probably walking away to somebody else. They were probably still, they're probably still in love with somebody from the past or um, there's just somebody in their environment that they're feeling like maybe the grass will be greener. I don't know if the grass will be greener or not, but they're feeling that way. Tell me about the four of coins reversed for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Clarify the Four of Coins. All right, Queen of Wands. <coughs> I feel like this is your energy, or whoever is the one that is being broken up with, even though I feel like this energy is mutual. Um, whoever is being broken up with, they'll be just fine. It may hurt at first, but they'll realize that this is for the better good. And they're just going to let go and move on. Tell me about the hermit. Why is the hermit here for Virgo? Clarify the hermit for Virgo. Sun, moon, is and Venus. Why is the Virgo, or why is the Virgo here? The why is the hermit here? Oh my goodness. Why is the hermit here? Clarify the hermit. It's kind of a lot, but we'll see. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands the star, the magician, the page of pentacles. Um, or sorry, not, what did I say this was? This is the wheel. Not the, not the magician, it's the wheel. Okay. 
So, if you look, we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is facing forward. She's willing to put in the effort. She's balancing her emotions. This king is the one that's turning his back. So, I feel like the masculine energy is going to be the one that walks away. Or the one that wants to walk away. And it, they want to walk away because it's become a burden. It's just too hard. It's too much work. Maybe they feel like um, the feelings that they have for you are too much. Or maybe they feel like there's just too many... I, it could be baggage. This could be baggage that they're holding on to that's making them not connect with you emotionally. Or it could just be that it's this relationship just requires too much work. And then we have the star here. In this position, I feel like they... Are, this is the Queen of Cups wanting this person to come back. But this is like a ghost-like figure. So they're not going to come back. They're, I feel like, Virgo, you might get ghosted. But I feel like you're also this Queen of Wands energy. And you just, at first it'll hurt, but I feel like eventually you'll get to a place where you're like, well, it just had to happen. You do have the wheel here in this, in this position. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling stagnant. This relationship isn't going anywhere anyway. So you're letting go of this person and setting out on new adventures. You're ready to, you know, work on your job, work on your finances, start being, you know, independent and getting yourself to a place where you don't, need this person to come back. That's what I'm feeling like. Um, you possibly were a little codependent on this person with the Palace of Coins reversed here. Um, I feel like this breakup is kind of going to leave you in a place where you don't know where you're going to live. And... I feel like maybe that's why you're so willing to put so much effort into this relationship that's difficult because you feel like you have to. You feel like you can't really move. You feel, you're feeling stuck with this Wheel of Fortune. Um, but once you get, you know, a new job, once you get your finances done, once you get a new home, once you're feeling stable and secure, you're going to let go and you're going to start being this Queen of Wands. I don't know why I said that all weird, like I'm Romanian or something. Queen, Queen of Wands. <laughs> but Queen of Wands, that's what I meant to say. So Virgo, let me get you an oracle card to see where you should be directing your energy for the next few days. So best advice for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the number three. So, let me see. I don't think I've gotten this card yet. Dreams, meditation, spiritual escape. Some colors exist in dreams that are not present in the waking spectrum. Our dreams provide us with an alternate re reality. Limitless and unfettered, we are free to soar with angels or sink to the depths of demons. To imagine, to create to create, to escape the norm, to wonder and ask what if, and to awaken, refresh, and question why not. A jester rests atop a magical box prop, her costume a nightcap and slippers. It is time for it is time now for rest and escape. There's four swords. Around her float magical dream catcher nets, which capture her drifting elusive imagination. Climbing up the adjacent pole are a variety of creatures, each symbolically associated with dreams in different cultures. Be wary of dreams and interpreting them falsely. They may be true visions or merely mirages of the truth that will send us further from reality. So, pay attention to your dreams. Um, keep a notebook by your um, end table. I know it's hard to remember dreams, but if you... Uh, 
um, right after you wake up, just jot down whatever you remember from your dream. Sometimes it'll give you clarity to problems or questions that you've been seeking that you're having trouble finding the answer. Um, <clears throat> I know you can find the answer to those questions through meditation, but um, my Mercury is in Virgo. So I have a very hard time quieting my mind long enough to meditate to get the answers that I want. But um, my dreams always tell me the answers I need to hear. So if you do have a hard time with meditation, I would definitely try keeping track of your dreams um, by keeping a notebook and a pencil at the end of your bed and write it down just the second you wake up before you forget about it. Um, and they may give you answers that you're seeking. Um, <clears throat> so really focus on your dreams this week. That was your best advice. So um, it'll probably help you find what direction you're supposed to be going in. Um, if you are trying to find a career that's more, you know, that's going to get you to this place of being the queen of wands, being independent, not having to depend on somebody else because you don't have a home of your own letting go of somebody that you didn't you know feel this huge connection with anyway but were only there because they were taking care of you Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus Eight of Swords King of Cups, Queen of Coins, Two of Swords reversed, the Star could be dealing with an Aquarius, the Emperor could be dealing with an Aries, King of Wands reversed, and at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups reversed. That's three eights. And there's two Queens and two Kings on the board. I feel like this has to do with work. You have the eight of coins and the three of coins reversed, which both are talking, both cards that talk about putting efforts into something that you're working on, but they're both reversed. So you're not working as hard as you should be, and neither is somebody else who you're supposed to collaborate with. You could be feeling like this job is not fulfilling to you anymore, but you feel like you're stuck there. If this has to do with a relationship, you and your partner are Neither of you are putting in work, but you both feel like you're stuck in this relationship. The only one reversed is the King of Wands reversed. We do have a court couple, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is in the upright. The King of Wands is reversed, and in the middle, we have the Two of Swords reversed. So it's stagnating energy. But I feel like this queen, even though she's not working on this relationship like she should be, she's still staying true to herself. This king, however, may possibly be dealing with somebody else on the side. If this has to do with your work, your boss may be acting a little shady. Let me clarify this. King of Wands reversed for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify the King of Wands reversed. Ace of Swords. So the truth is coming out, whether it's a shady boss or a significant other who's cheating. The truth will be revealed. Tell me about the star. 
We have the King of Wands again. So the King of Wands, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. And he's pointing right up at the Queen of Wands. What is he saying? Oh my God. I think he's saying, you're the one for me. But why is he reversed down here? Tell me about this King of Wands. Ah. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. The Emperor reversed. And the Empress reversed. Holy fuck. Okay. This king is pointing right up at this queen. His queen, Queen of Wands. Because, and he was reversed down here because... He cheated in the past. Seven of Swords reversed can be somebody feeling guilty for deceptions. With the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So he was stuck in this deceptive behavior. But now that it's over, the truth is coming out. He's looking right up at this queen saying, you're my queen. Maybe he's apologizing. And then it's also clarified by another court couple but not only a court couple, it's the emperor and the empress. But they're both reversed. Neither of you are putting in the efforts. But you know who you are to each other. He's pointing right up at you. He's feeling guilty for what he's done. That's for damn sure. The emperor is Aries energy. The empress is Libra Taurus energy. The wheel is Sagittarius energy. He, the star is in the upright, so he does have hope. But neither of you are putting in the effort right now. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Wands. So, neither of you are putting in the effort right now because you possibly have other responsibilities that you need to take care of and the relationship's just going to take a back seat. Or, whatever this deception was, this queen's going to have to learn how to trust again. Trust him again. Not just trust again. She's going to learn to trust the person who hurt her. And this king isn't putting in the effort because he needs to be okay with her process of learning to trust again. So she has to learn to trust again, and he has to learn to allow that trust to build. And neither of them are really putting an effort right now. The king feels guilty. The queen might give him a chance, it looks like, but neither are really working on this. She's not really working on trying to trust him, and he's not wor really working on proving that she can trust him. I don't know how this King of Cups and Queen of Coins plays in, so let me clarify the King of Cups. The Fool reversed. Not being able to trust him. So this King of Cups is the King of Wands, and now he's offering his emotions to her, He's offering his feelings to her. He's he's emotionally balanced, but he's not going to he's not going to show his emotions that much. But she doesn't trust him. That's for damn sure. She's not quite ready to take that leap of faith yet. Tell me about the Queen of Coins. Clarify the Queen of Coins for Virgo. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Reversed. So she may be just focusing on money right now. You have the sun at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries. Um, but they realize who they are to each other. They are the King and Queen of Wands and they are the Emperor and the Empress. But I feel like she's just going to focus on 
her stability, her finances, her career, and this relationship's just going to take a backseat for now until she can get herself to a financially stable place and he can learn to stop being a dog, basically. So, Aries, or, uh, Aries, you really must be dealing with an Aries. But Virgo, let me get you. This Eight of Cups reverse can mean, um, you know, trying to battle the decision of do I stay or do I go. So I feel like that could be the Queen of Wands energy. Not really sure where to go with this. So, best advice for Virgo for March 27th. You got the crown. With death reversed at the bottom of the deck, so you're, you're both stagnating. You're not working on this. The wand reversed and the tree popped out. So, you, you both want to work on the stability in this relationship, but you feel like the passion's gone. The passion will come back once you can learn to trust again. But the crown is recognition, authority, and pride. So she knows she's a damn queen. She knows she's the empress. But she probably went through a period. If this is you, you probably went through a period of not feeling like a queen or an empress. This person was deceptive, did something behind your back that hurt you. The truth is coming out. And you've had time to heal yourself over this. You just haven't forgiven and learned to trust yet. And for now, you're just going to work on, you're just going to do you, I feel like. You're going to work on your finances and the relationship's just going to take a backseat until you're ready to learn to trust again.